Hey guys and welcome back to the Fergie Way with me, Teacher FM. We're on episode 19 now in season 3, so we've come a long, long way. We're in around about, I think it's episode 62, 63 of the whole series since it started. And I just wanted to say a massive thank you to any of you guys that have been here from the beginning. Anyone who's joined late, I know there's a few guys who have gone back and caught up all the way since the very beginning. So fair play to you guys. Your support has been amazing. We keep growing as a channel and without you guys, we would have no growth at all. So once again, thank you very much. Now in yesterday's episode, you'll remember we took a little bit of a devastating defeat to Tottenham. However, it was all based around team selection and I'm hoping the ends justifies the means. Today we have Arsenal in the Champions League and we should have a much stronger squad to use who will be all fit and hopefully take a good advantage from the first leg into the second leg and Obviously, we're all here to win the Champions League, so with a little bit of luck, we can get there, we can do it. So in yesterday's episode, we of course suffered a somewhat devastating defeat against Tottenham. It was based solely around squad selection, so I'm hoping that the ends justifies the means. Because in today's episode, we're going to face Arsenal in the Champions League, and we have got a fit and strong squad to do so, based on that selection in the last game. So hopefully, we'll do well, we'll progress, and the Tottenham loss will be all forgot about. So as you know from yesterday's episode, we've not really got a right lot to go on in the way of news because it's only been a couple of days since that defeat to Spurs. However, what we are going to do in today's episode is take a quick look at the European competition just to see who's left in there, how the players are doing and just have a little general note because we've got a bit of time before we get into today's live comp. So as we look at the Champions League then, today's games are Bayern Munich versus Tottenham and of course we're playing Arsenal. Yesterday, PSG beat Juventus 2-0 and Schalke actually beat Real Madrid 3-2. So the teams left in it are pretty interesting. Obviously, PSG knocked us out last year. So it could be somewhat wonderful to get them in the final and, and put one over on them to basically call the end of this series. But, uh, you know, with the likes of Real Madrid still in here, Bayern Munich still in here, if we do get past Arsenal at this stage of the tie... It might not be the easiest thing to win with the teams that are left in there. However, we're going to give it a damn good bash. So we take a look down at the player stats and Luan is still leading the goal scoring charts with Aguero and Suarez sat there. Now, of course, Sitter, Benfica and Barcelona are all out of the competition. So maybe there's room for someone to step in there. However, I'm pretty sure we don't have any players in for that award. The closest we have is Juan Mata. And the disappointing thing about that is, of course, he's now injured and is unlikely to even feature in the Champions League or the Premier League again this season. Bit of a shame, really. So, don't think we're going to be walking away with any golden boots this year. But as we take a look at the average rating, one Matt has sat up there, 8.6 rating. Of course, that's not going to change for him, but we do have Pogba sat just below him and again Aguero in third. Matt leading the assist chart with Martial with five. Player of the matches with Alexis Sanchez, who is, of course, still in the competition. And Manuel Neuer's actually managed six clean sheets, which is interesting. So it'll be interesting to see how Tottenham do against them today. Obviously, Tottenham will be quite buoyed after beating us. They've closed that gap to nine points in the Premier League. I'm still pretty confident we'll win the league. However, they're going to be pretty G'd up going into the Bayern Munich game. And so they bloody well should be. So yeah, so that was all we needed to see. It was just a quick look at the Champions League as a whole, because we've not seen it in a while. We had a little bit of time before today's live com. But with that in mind, let's head over to the selection screen and see who we're going to field against Arsenal today. So as we move into the team selection screens, there's a few things I want to mention before I go and get into the whole selection. A couple of players have been dropped. I obviously said something a few people didn't agree with in the uh, pre-match press conference. That was Rashford, Sidibe. And there was one other, but I don't think the other one was any any relevance whatsoever. But um, I've started Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So we'll go from the top, actually. So we've got Martial playing up top with Zlatan playing as a complete forward. Zlatan is a little bit not sharp for the game. He's only got around about 80%. I do have Memphis to pound the bench to bring on, so we've got no concern, concerns there. Gribben is stepping in for the injured one matter in the Trecotista role. We then have Pogba, Pogba, Neves and Sanchez in the middle, which I believe is pretty much as strong as we've got. We do have Ander Herrera, who I'll maybe include in that mix as well, but nonetheless, pretty damn strong. We then have Alaba at left back. We have the centre-back pairing of Smalling and Bailly, which has arguably been our strongest over the last few years. With Damian playing right back, as I say, Sidibe had a little bit of a... Uh, reacted badly to something it said in the press, so... You get, you're not in the team, end of. And then we have De Gea in the six. As we move on to the Arsenal team, 
once again, something relatively, you know, we're used to seeing the way they set up. So they've got check in net, Kazawa, Mustafi, Polista, and then Semedo at the back. Then they have Wilshire and Ramsey in the middle with Sanchez, Ozil, Di Maria, and Akadi up top. A very standard Arsenal team. The young right back, well, I assume young. The right back, I don't really know a right lot about. We'll just take a look at him. It's a young lad who they've bought from Benfica, and it has to be said, he's pretty bloody good as well. I just thought it was going to be some youth that they were playing, but 25 years old, Portuguese, played for Benfica. I'll be honest, I've never heard of him. You can't know everybody in this game, and that's just the end of it. But, you know, valued at 21 million and his decent speed acceleration, so he's probably going to try and come down the flanks. We'll have to be wary of that because, as we know, it's a little bit of a weakness in our formation. So we're going to go on to the opposition instructions and see what Roy has to say. Come on, Roy, important game. What are you saying, son? Ozil Sanchez, Di Maria, obviously going to be getting hard tackling because, well, there's a bit of a bell end in it. And then, as we look around, is there anything else we need to do? I don't want to close down or type Mark Akade. He's probably going to be trying to break the back line, so we'll go straight into the team talk. And he's saying passionately for the fans, but I don't agree with it. The media have been giving us credit. That's more like it. We get some greens. Let's see if we can make them greens go a little bit further. Boom, two more. Last one's in the striking positions. Well... Everyone but Martial. As I say, Martial's been a bit hot and cold this year, but hopefully he can do something in today's game because a commanding victory while keeping a clean sheet here would be awesome. Of course, we're at Old Trafford. Arsenal have had to come away to us. So if we can go to the Emirates without any fear of any away goal affecting us, it would be the perfect result. Baye now at the halfway line. Plays it forward to Sanchez. Sanchez finds Ibra. Damian. Ruben Neves. Pogba. Pogba tried to fit it through to Ibrahimovic. It didn't work. We've got Neves back on the ball now. It's Alaba. Pogba. Back to Alaba. Alaba's going to try and get down the wing, but he cuts inside. The ball's now with Neves. Little quick interchange between him and Pogba. It's Martial. Get in there! Zlatan Ibrahimovic has not played now for a few games. From the edge of the area, the lad's got class coming out of him, no matter what his age is. Well done, Ibrahimovic. With just two minutes on the clock, Sanchez plays it forward to Martial. Martial just puts a little ball into Zlatan, hits it first time, goes absolute top bag. 1-0, we were less than two minutes on the clock. What a result we could have here. It's Bayi now, not it out. It's gone as far as Damian. It's Neves. Neves to Pogba. Pogba takes a wild shot from the edge of the area, it has to be said. Wasn't quite good enough. Uh, but early signs are very positive as Sanchez stands over a free kick. Neves tries getting into him, but it doesn't work. It's Wilshire to Ozil now, out to Kazawa. Kazawa down the right, uh, down the left even. Nod's clear. Neves picks it up. Are we going to try and release? No, oh, there's no point in trying to release Ibra. There's no chance he's going to be running down the field. It's Neves now. Alaba. Still Alaba to Pogba. Pogba plays it back to Alaba. It was great play down that wing there. Sanchez manages to get the ball back off Akadi. It's Pogba again to Sanchez. Ibrahimovic. Neves to Pogba. Pogba to Martial, back to Sanchez, it's high wide and fancy. It did look like we'd fashioned quite a good chance there, but it came to nothing. However, 12 minutes into the game, Arsenal yet to have an attack, but Akadi's on the ball now. Saved by David De Gea. A little bit of a worrying moment, because as I say, I don't want to be dicking around with away goals. Be nice to keep clean sheet here. It's Gribbin. Pogba, oh, deflected, it goes out for a corner. It does look like he had Petacek beat. However, it's out for a corner. Gribbin whips another one in again. It's landed with Damian at the edge. Damian from distance. It's gone wide of the post. And Arsenal managed to get away with it by the skin of the teeth as we head into the 20th minute of the game. Pogba on the edge of the area. Still Pogba. Still Pogba. Pogba with a weak shot. Uh, I just want to go to the team talk. Eric Bailly has just picked up a card. I just want to tell him to calm down. Don't want to be losing any men because as we know, it seems to be when we lose men is when we lose games. Not going to happen today. It's Pogba now into Ibrahimovic. Get in there. The big Swede does it again. Comes on the pitch for the first time in I don't know how long. Grabs two goals in his first half hour. And his, his contract up at the end of the year. If we're still here, if we don't manage to win the Champions League and we continue on with the Fergie way, uh, he's probably going to be getting replaced. But then he has moments like this and I just think, why would you? Unfortunately, he then will go on and have two or three shit games thereafter, so uh, he does need to be replaced. However, it would be great as a swan song that he can just finish up in Europe this year, you know, with just a few more goals under his belt and important goals at that. 33 minutes on the clock. Arsenal had somewhat of a weak attack there, but at the moment, they are not offering this game anything. It's Gribbin now. 
Gribbon's just been snapped. Jack Wiltshire with a foul. He's already been booked once. This is going to see him leave the field. There we go. Red card for Jack Wiltshire. Not the first time he's been sent off for United. Maybe in this game, but in real life, I've seen it happen before. So, we have now got the numerical advantage against Arsenal. Can we make it count? And can we put this tie to bed before we even get into the next game? It's Alaba now. Alaba charging forward, loses out to Di Maria, but he goes straight back, takes it back off Di Maria, like, mugs him off. Summit Kronik and Zlatan Ibrahimovic gets himself a hat-trick, 40 minutes on the clock, <laughs> and you just can't let him go. You just can't let him go. If he, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Zlatan again. Because he's not retired yet, he wants to finish his career at the club. If Zlatan can repeat this feat in one of his next two games, and I'll start him for both, if he can get a hat-trick in one of his next two games... I'm going to give him a new contract just for the hell of it. So we're going to half time here. Obviously, we're very pleased. Whoops, I didn't even click very pleased, but the lads are happy, which is the result. Zlatan playing a ridiculous 9.5. We've got to tell him that we're very happy with his performance so far tonight. And hopefully, press on, grab ourselves another couple of goals. And once again, in a, in a big game in Europe, we might have the chance to play the younger ones and play some of the stronger players in the league where now the gap is shortening between Tottenham. So it's Damian down the right here, whips it in, comes out to Neves, to Pogba. Renato Sanchez now at the edge, gives it back to Damian. Damian crosses, it's landed with Neves on the edge again. Back to Damian for a second bite of the cherry and a third bite now. Cleared out by Ramza, it's back with Damian. I don't know what's going on here. Ibrahimovic nods one to the back post. It's ended up with Martial and it's once again back with Neves. Again, goes back to Damian. I mean, it's almost predictable. If I was Arsenal now, I'd be just like, get Neves. Get Damian, mark him tight, because those boys are just tearing everybody up. It's Baye now, Sanchez. End of the highlight, but we've been playing really, really well at the start of this second half. Di Maria's now just picked up a booking, so there might be another chance of a red here as Alaba puts it down to the side, the, down past the side netting. 51 minutes on the clock with 3-0 up, and it has to be said, Arsenal have given nothing to this game. Smalling now to Neves. Renato Sanchez to Gribbin. Ibra was in so much space and Gribbin didn't play. He went out to Damian instead. But it's landed with Martial. 4-0. And I would say at this point, the tie is getting itself away from Arsenal. If we can go to the Emirates and nick an early goal, they stand no chance of getting back into this. Martial there with pretty easy tapping. Pogba knocked it down. Some little assists for Pogba, which is nice. Ozil's having to play so deep down Arsenal's, uh, down Arsenal's pitch now. It's Renato Sanchez. Sanchez, what a finish. I didn't even get to finish talking about the last goal. Sanchez belts an absolute screamer from the edge of the area. He's becoming somewhat known for it. But watch this. Sanchez brings it down, takes a touch forward, and then just smacks it. Petacek had no chance. 5-0. And Arsenal are no way going to progress into the next round of the Champions League. It's gribbing now. Alaba has picked it up from the halfway line. It's landed with Pogba. Pogba tries crossing it in. It's now with Ozil. Plays it out to Sanchez. Alexis, that is. Alexis skins one, two. He's got nowhere to go, though. He's had to give it to Kazawa. Kazawa's still on the ball. He's getting pressured, though. Sanchez pushing him back down the pitch. It's Cocklin. Ozil. Alexis gets the ball took off him. It's Ibra knocks it down to Martial. Martial had to try and run at three or four plays. Didn't work. Gave it gribbing. We're just going to take a look at how everybody's doing. Pogba's got himself a couple of assists. Martial's grabbed a couple. Of course, there's Latan scoring those goals. So we're not going to really change anything in that regard. However, Ruben Neves has also been playing a very solid game. We're going to bring on Fosu Mensah. Twins Arby can come on for Eric Bailly, who has, of course, already been booked. We told him to calm down a little bit earlier on. Um, but nonetheless, we'll take them off. It's just for the sake, subs for making subs' sake. We'll also take a quick team talk. We're going to assertively tell the guys to concentrate because I don't want to concede a goal here. And yeah, I think at the moment we've got 25 minutes left. We can probably nick another goal or two if we're lucky. It's Alaba now. Fosse Mensa. To Sanchez. Damian's going to try and get down the right. Is he? he whips a ball in. It's landed with Pogba on the edge. Zlatan Ibrahimovic offside. Shame, really. I'd like to see Zlatan maybe add a couple more. It would be wicked. Alaba crosses one in. Sanchez on the edge. Shot deflected. We will get another corner. Excuse me. 
Gribbon with that corner now to Pogba. Pogba volleys it. It goes high, wide and fancy. It's all over the place. But 20 minutes left on the clock. We're absolutely destroying them. Arsenal have only had two shots. Sanchez, I, I think that might go down as an own goal. Because, it, yeah, Mustafi own goal. Sanchez hit it. It was going wide. It clipped Mustafi, went in the net. We're now 6-0. And if there was no chance a minute ago, it is certainly dead in the water for Arsenal now. Quarter of an hour left now. It's David Alaba. Renato Sanchez to Pogba. Gribbin, Martial, out wide to Alaba. Is Alaba going to try and cross it? He does it. Lands with Sanchez. The lad would have had a hat trick. Well, he wouldn't have because his shot before wasn't going in, and that's how it bounced off. But Sanchez has played a screamer today, along with Ibra, along with a lot of the lads. There's going to be a whole lot of praising going on at the end of this game. But you can bet your ass I'm certainly going to highlight Zlatan as one of the game's better performers. Alaba, still Alaba. Ozil manages to intercept the ball from him though. It's Smalling and Pogba now to Sanchez. Sanchez again. Oh, he's put that one wide. I really thought he was on for his hat-trick there. Arsenal playing so defensive now. They've not really got that much choice in it. Uh, a couple of yellow cards have gone out back to Ozil and Di Maria as well. So it'll be interesting to see whether these guys are even going to make it into the next sort of leg. However, we were talking about top goal scorers in Europe before. before and maybe we can force an issue here. Plays out, there's like and feed the ball to him quite a bit. Maybe we can get him right up there. So it's Fosu Mensa now to Alaba. This is the last highlight now, guys. Fosu Mensa again to Sanchez. Sanchez will give it Damian. Is Damian going to get one last crossing on this game? He doesn't. It's Di Maria. It's full time. We've managed to walk out 7 0 winners in the quarter final of the Champions League against Arsenal. Look at the nines and late eights that are going on in this. It is absolutely ridiculous. Passionately, a very nice victory. Well done. We're going to highlight, of course, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And if I had to pick out any more here, I think Martial getting himself a couple of assists and a goal, he would have to be one. Also, because he's often a bit of an unsung hero, we're going to highlight um, uh, David Alaba as well because, you know, the lad did well. I'm just trying to look at these ones who are sort of maybe not over the moon. They're just a little bit delighted. Um, motivated and inspired Martial. But yeah, we'll call it that. Otherwise, I think we're going to be here all bloody day. But... What a result, guys. If you enjoyed that, hit the like button now. Hit it already because that was tremendous. A result that was brought on by Arsenal's red card. But a terrific result nonetheless. So there we have it then. We have managed to walk away from the first leg against Arsenal in a very, not even a commanding position, A, no matter what, you're through to the semi-final position. But we'll take that because that's why we're here. We want to win the Champions League. So as a look down at the schedule now for the next game, we're not going to see the Sunderland game, but of course we will be back for the second leg against Arsenal. It's somewhat a foregone conclusion. However, we're aiming to try and get someone in the top scoring charts there. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can force Zlatan into that position. So yeah, if you've enjoyed today's episode, I mean, we won 7-0. Why wouldn't you have? Hit the like button. Text all of a second. If you do it, you'll be amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the sub button. You can catch up in the description with uh, Season 1 and Season 2 reviews. They're down there if you want to get up to date with what's been going on on the Fergie way. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow night's episode. We'll be back at Arsenal. This time we'll be down at the Emirates. I've been Teach FM, and I'll catch you later. See you in a bit.